Hi friends, it's Miss Brenda. So we're here for another speech and language lesson today. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna read a cute little story about animal ears. And then in between, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna switch my screen over and I'm gonna ask you questions because I want you to make the best guess you can. It's gonna ask what animal you think it is. So I'm gonna go back and forth between screens. So hope you have fun and enjoy the story. And then at the end, we can go over the answers. <clears throat> okay, so let me share my screen. Wait, why? Okay, there we go. Okay, so the story is, whose ears are these? Open your ears and hear who's who. An animal's ears can be long or short. Ears can be huge and ears can be tiny. Look closely at an animal's ears. Ears can tell you how an animal finds food or how it stays safe from an enemy. Some ears even help animals stay cool when it's hot. Ears don't all look alike because they don't all work alike. Can you guess who hears with all these ears? Ooh, all right, friends, look at these ears. Whose ears are these flapping in the heat? Ooh, these ears look super big, right? Hmm, whose ears do you think these are? I'm going to switch my screen over. Hmm, do you think these ears belong to an elephant? Or do you think these ears belong to a cow? What do you think? Make your guess. So you can touch the screen to make your choice. You can say your choice. Or you can use it in paper version. So I'm going to email you this too. Okay, did you guys all make your guesses? Let's see. These are African elephant's ears. Ooh, so whoever said elephant, you guys are right. This African elephant's ears are big and flat. The ears flap like fans to keep the elephant cool in the hot sun. That is so cool. Ooh, there's a fun fact here. Let's see what this says. An elephant uses its ears to frighten away enemies. It opens its ears out to the sides that makes the elephant look bigger and more frightening. I didn't know that. That's so cool, friends. So an elephant makes his ears even bigger and he moves his ears out to the side to look scary. That's really cool. Okay, can I zoom? No, I can't. Okay, well look at this picture right here. We're on to our next one. Whose ears are these waving back and forth? Mm, okay, take a look at these ears. Who do you think they belong to? I have a guess, but let's see. Okay, let's see our choices. No. Okay. Mm, so do you think those ears belong to a pig? Or a bunny. What do you think? Let me show you them again. Here's the ears. Hmm. So do you think these ears belong to a pig or a bunny? I'm gonna make my guess. We'll see if I'm right. All right, friends, and as always, if you need more time, you can pause the video. If I'm going too fast, pause the video to make your choice, okay? All right, let's see who they belong to. <gasps> they belong to a bunny. These are a cottontail rabbit's ears. The rabbit's long ears stick up straight at the slightest sound. The rabbit waves its ears back and forth to find where danger might be. So that's kind of cool. So hold on, I'm just gonna stop sharing the screen. So rabbit's ears kind of look like this, right? And when they hear things, they can turn their ears back and forth to where they hear the sound. 
That is so cool. I have rabbits and my rabbits do that too. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen again, sorry. Okay, so rabbits have a fun fact, let's see. Fun fact, different kinds of rabbits have different kinds of ears. The jackrabbit's ears are even longer than the cottontail's ears. The lop-eared rabbit's floppy ears hang down to the sides of its head. Oh, that's the kind of rabbits I have. They have floppy ears and they lay down kind of like that next to them. Okay, moving on. Do you see this animal right here? Hmm, I don't know what this is. Whose ears are these listening for echoes? Okay, so take a look at these ears and then I'll give you your choices. What do you think these ears belong to? They're short, they're brown. Hmm, what do they belong to? Let's see. Okay, yeah, this is a tricky one. Do you think those ears could belong to a kitty cat? Or do you think those ears could belong to a bat? Oh my goodness. Okay, so pause the video. If you need more time, I'm gonna go back to the story and give you the answer. Let's see what it is. These are a brown bat's ears. Ah, oh, so whoever said bat, you were right. A brown bat hunts at night. As it flies about, it makes clicking noises that echo back. The bat listens for these echoes to help find its way through the dark. Ooh, so bats, they really can't see very well. So they have eyes, but it's really hard for them to use their eyes, so they use their ears, so their ears are really helpful. Okay, let's read our fun fact about bats. <clears throat> fun fact, a brown bat's ears are specially shaped to catch echoes. It can use an echo to find even a tiny bug flying by. Oh my goodness, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Okay, next one. So look at this picture. Hmm, it looks like there's plants in the way of this. I don't know what this is. Whose ear is this listening in the rainforest? Mm, okay, so this animal has black fur and they live in the rainforest and these ears look really little. Hmm, who do you think they belong to? Oh, sorry, hold on. Why is it doing this? It's hard to switch pages because there's a bar up front. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so the animal had black fur, it had little ears, and it lives in the rainforest. Who do you think those ears belonged to? Do you think it belonged to a gorilla? Or do you think those ears belonged to a dog? Mm. What do you think? Okay, take your time. You can pause the video. I'm gonna go back to the story. Let's see who they belong to. It belongs to a gorilla. This is a gorilla's ear. So a gorilla's ear looks a lot like a person's ear. A gorilla has good hearing. It can hear an unwanted visitor, even if the gorilla can't see the visitor through the dense forest rain. Oh, so they have really good ears. Okay, let's see what our fun fact is about gorillas. So fun fact, gorillas listen for signals from other gorillas. When the male leader of a gorilla group thumps his chest, so like that, it makes a loud sound. The sound warns other male gorillas to stay out of his way. Oh my goodness, I would not wanna see a gorilla do that. I'd be a little scared. Okay, friends, now we're on this side of the page, so we're gonna look at these animals' ears. Whose ears are these listening for bugs in the sand? Hmm, whose ears do you think these are? So they look like they're kind of small. They stand up at the top of the head and it looks like they're pointy. And this animal looks orange. Hmm. Okay, let's see. 
Okay. So whose ears do you think those could belong to? Do you think they could belong to a giraffe? Or a fox? What do we think? So their pointy ears at the top of the head. The animal's orange. And it listens for bugs in the sand. Okay. Let's see, are you guys ready to find out? These ears belong to a, a fox. These are a desert fox's ears. The desert fox has big cupped ears that catch a lot of sound. The fox can hear even an insect walking across the sand. That's really good hearing. We can't hear like that. That's so cool. Okay, let's read our fun fact. The large ears of the desert fox keeps it cool. The fox's extra body heat escapes through the skin of the ear. Hmm, that is interesting. Okay, next page. Whose little ear is this? Oh my goodness. Okay, do you see my mouse? See what I'm pointing at? That's its ear. So it's a brown animal. It has a little ear. I have no idea what this is. Okay, well, let's make a guess. Could that ear belong to, okay, now we have a better idea. Could that ear belong to a zebra? So it's a little brown ear. Or could that ear belong to a, belong to a sea lion? What do you think? to touch the screen or you can say your answer or touch your answer on a piece of paper. Okay, should we find out? It's a sea lion's ear. That's cool. A sea lion's ear is just a little flap, but a sea lion still has good hearing, even underwater. It uses its ears to find prey and to stay away from enemies. Let's read our fun fact. Fun fact, if a sea lion pup gets lost, it uses its ears to find its mother. Each mother sea lion makes her own singing sound. The pup listens for its mother's special song to find her. Wow, I didn't know that. So they listen for a special song to find their mama. That is so cool. All right, friends, ready for the next one? Okay, so look at this animal. Whose ear is this covered with feathers? Okay, so we can't see these ears from the outside because this thing has feathers. So it looks like it's white and orange. It has feathers. So if it has feathers, that must mean it's maybe some kind of bird. Let's see what our choices are. Okay, so do you think those ears could belong to an owl or a whale? What do we think? So it has feathers. Hmm. So only types of birds have feathers. Make your guess. Okay. Ready to find out? The ears belong to an owl. This is called a barn owl. The barn owl turns its head towards the rustling sounds in the grass below. The feathers around its face direct the sound into its ears. The owl's excellent hearing helps it hunt mice in the dark. Uh oh. All right, fun fact. The ears of a barn owl have different shapes and one is higher than the other. That helps the owl figure out exactly where a sound comes from. Wow, I didn't know that. So one ear is higher than the other. Not like us, right? Look at our ears. Our ears are the same on each side. But an owl, one ear might be here and one ear might be here. That's really cool. Okay, this is our last one. So take a look at this thing. Hmm, whose ear is this? Listening to a secret. Hmm, 
What do you think? Let me show your choices. Do you think those ears belong to a lion? Or do those ears belong to me? Do they belong to us, to humans, or to a lion? Okay, so make your choice, and then I will tell you the answer. Okay, you ready to find out? Let's see. The ears belong to me. This is your ear. So your ears catch a song from the radio or a whisper from a friend. Just like other animals, you use your ears for staying safe and finding things. Your ears don't move in different directions like a rabbit, but some people can wiggle their ears. Can you? You can try. I don't think I know how to do it. Okay, let's read a fun fact about ourselves. Your ears help you balance. Yes, they do. Deep inside each ear is a special liquid. And this liquid moves around when you walk or jump. Tiny hairs in your ear, in your ear feel the movement and tell your brain so you don't fall down. So cool, right? Okay, what does this page say? How good are your ears? Test your ears. Sit on a chair and cover your eyes with a blindfold or with your hands. Have a friend stand somewhere in the same room and make a noise. Point to where you think the noise is coming from. Have your friend move to a new spot and try again. How did you do? If you were a rabbit and could move your ears, this would be easy. We can still do it, but it's a little difficult. And that is it. We finished our story. Well, I hope you all had fun. That was a cool story. I really liked that one. I hope you guys did too. So if you want, you can listen to this video over again. You can listen to the story, answer some more if you want. All right. Well, I had fun and I will see you guys all soon. Bye friends.